The UK's first memorial to the African and Caribbean soldiers of the First and Second World Wars has been unveiled in London. The installation is the vision of the Nubian Jack Community Trust, honouring the estimated 2 million Afro-Caribbean soldiers who fought in both wars. Many of you might not know it, but today for the African and Caribbean community, the 22nd of June is Windrush Day. In 1948, the first important group of post-war immigrants from the West Indies was brought in the UK on the MV Empire Windrush boat upon the request of the British government. Their purpose, to help rebuild a country after the World War II. Today isn't just any day, this is the day chosen for the United Kingdom to unveil its first war memorial dedicated to honouring the lives of African and Caribbean servicemen and women who served during World War I and World War II. This project has been seven years in the making and was originally conceived by Nubian Jack Community Trust to address historical omissions. The monument is installed on Windrush Square in Brixton, southwest London. Amongst those who attended the ceremony were members of parliament, veterans and members of the general public. It's been a long time. It's all about the soldiers. A lot of soldiers have died and have not been recognised. So it's really good that we've now done a mon monument that's going to be here forever. So when they're old, they can take their children here and remember that, that we did something very special. The freedoms we all hold dear, the very freedoms that allow us to be open and inclusive were hard won by people from different races, nationalities, religions and backgrounds. And this includes courageous African and Caribbean men and women who fought with the British Army during the First and Second World War. And we are finally, finally starting to hear the stories. You know, this is the acknowledgement of um, all of those who served for and died for freedom during both World War One and World War Two, who up until now have not had a place to go and really remember their dead. Well, it should have been done earlier. Let's be honest about that. This is belated recognition, but let's uh, welcome it for all that. It's a commemoration uh, and a recognition of the fact, the historical fact, that Africans from Africa and the Caribbean fought and died, sacrificed life and limb in the wars, the European wars, otherwise known as World Wars I and II, and have never been recognized uh, for their sacrifices. Today is so symbolic because for me it ends a 60-year period of hurt from when I was approached by adults as a youngster and told we didn't win the war for you people to come here and take our jobs and our homes. And as a child I felt very worthless. And today I feel very worthy because I know that no child in this country should any longer know or think that they know that only white people fought in the wars, but that people from the Commonwealth, Africa, Caribbean and elsewhere fought in the war and gave their lives for our freedoms. And that is something to be treasured. We start to understand the full picture of black people being in Britain. And as you can imagine, with the racism, with the way that we are today, there's an actual reasoning behind it. We actually fought, so we deserve to be here, which you've heard today. As a society, we must never forget the sacrifices they made. And it's vital, it is vital, that we pass this on to future generations, connecting children with their history the important thing for today is, A, we've celebrated and commemorated the fact that there's been a piece in the jigsaw missing about everyone's contribution to the war efforts, the First World War and the Second. But more important, it enables us to now move forward and educate the next generation. Being born here, our history is not shared as we feel it should be, so I figured we're not supposed to wait for somebody else to tell us our story, we need to tell our own story. It's important to know your history so you can tell your children and you can tell anybody anything that they might not know about you. The first shot in World War I was fired by a black man, do you understand? There's been two black queens of England, did you know that? Yeah? You should be very proud. You come from a people that used to rule the world. It's what all of this is about. And I'm very proud. I wish I was you lot. I wish I could live my life like you lot. You've got the whole future. So you can do anything. 
So that's what it's all about. Today was a historic day. Britain finally recognised the contribution that African and Caribbean servicemen and women made to the country. Thank you.